Welcome for a new episode of The Art of Us. I've gathered for you a top three of the best creations from The Last of Us. Don't forget to share your creations mentioning this hashtag if you want to get featured. Let's not wait any longer. Here's the May 2020 selection. On third position, we have a beautiful and colorful creation from Dennis Istomin, better known as Gidwin. Gidwin is a digital artist from Russia that specializes in simplistic landscapes. Let's have a closer look of his interpretation of The Last of Us Part 2. He recreated the scene in which Ellie is on her way to a ghost town. She is riding a horse while gazing at the horizon, where the sun sets on a deserted city, fading the remains of our past civilization. The amount of details is truly impressive. The color palette is very well chosen to capture the timeless moment when the orange daylight slowly transitions to the purple of the night. It makes me think of the Middle Ages, a simplistic style for simpler times. On second position, we have a realistic portrait of Ellie by Jack Pemberton, better known as Pembo. Pembo is a video game artist and designer from the UK. He specializes in poster-like creations. Let's delve into this amazing portrait. Here, we can see a recreation of the famous scene where Ellie goes hunting with her rifle. Except that this time, she's not in the forest. She seems to be lost in her own conscience. There are a lot of different textures used here to depict her feelings and expression. We can see the cordyceps that is slowly turning her into a monster. But what kind of monster, since she's immune? Who is she hunting down? Only her fearless eyes have the answer. And our winner in first position is... Ireland Geo with his heartwarming pyrography. Ireland Gary O'Noonan is an artist from Florida that specializes in pyrography onto basswood. Let's have a closer look at this burning passion of his. It took him several days to recreate one of the most famous scenes from The Last of Us Part 1. The one in which Ellie regains hope after a traumatic winter season. It's almost the end of their journey, and she's not herself anymore. No more jokes, no more whistling. When all of a sudden, she sees a group of giraffes casually wandering inside the abandoned city. It's the first time she sees such gigantic and beautiful creatures, as if it was something out of this world. And her eyes are filled with hope once again. It reminds me of the very famous scene from Jurassic Park. Ireland's pyrography is out of this world too. I mean, the amount of details here is just crazy. Each spot on the giraffe was carefully burned, and the same goes for the landscape, with the city, the plants and the flowers, even onto the Firefly logo and the shadows on Joel and Ellie's clothes. This piece is an inspiration for us all. That's the end of this episode of The Art of Us. Please go and check out these amazing artists. You can find a link to their social media in the description down below. Some of them even sell their creations if you're interested. Right next to me you can see a sample of different designs they made. And if you're an artist yourself, don't hesitate to send your own fan art about The Last of Us to contact at landerproduction.org. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys on my next video.